I have a, um, I do have a request, and we're gonna we're gonna move forward. But the Lord began to show me some things, and one of the things I want to say is this: I love, I don't love, but I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's called the tip of the spear. If anybody's ever been the tip of the spear, you know exactly how it feels. Come on here, sir. To be the tip of the spear. Yeah. You know, the men and women that will come at the end of a conference after it's been already generated, that's a lot of fun because it's already set. The yeah. atmosphere okay. is conditioned. Amen. Come on. Yes. Well, we got to take those of us that are here and set a precedent tonight. Okay. And so I'm, I'm not as desirant to preach as much as I am to set the atmosphere. Set it. Yeah. Yeah. Because my job and my role is to assist my brother in his assignment. Come on, Amen. 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 See, do y'all just feel that shift right there? Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, folks. <laughs> there it is. Someone say the bowls aren't full. The bowls, the bowls aren't, aren't full. full. No, they're not. They're not full. They're not full Amen. enough yet. Yes. Mm-hmm. We want yes. full. They're not full enough yet to re to flow over. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Let's just take a moment right there. Is the Holy Spirit is going to recalibrate? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. All right mm -hmm. now. Hallelujah. And what I would like to do is, man of God, uh, can you name me two individuals that you trust uh, that, to to help me pray? We're gonna we're gonna do a prayer. Before I go in, yes, yes, All right. amen. And I need yourself, and then of course, then one other individual to help. And I brought you some oil. Uh huh. Uh huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Amen. And I know you've probably done this, but I heard the Lord say to do it. Yes. And we're going to consecrate yes. this ground again. Yes. All right. Amen. Now, for those of you, you you probably don't know much about me or anything about me. That's all right. I might get a little emotional for a moment. Because this house was a house of a dear friend of mine who went home with the Lord. I laid a lot of foundation in this place, in the people of God. Yes, you did, Apostle. Not just this place, but I was one of the only people in this city that he trusted. Every place that he, he took the people until they landed on the east side, covered the ministry. I met my wife in the ministry we were covenant brothers I went from being whew, this guy that nobody didn't know what to do with to being a, a co-laborer over yes. a course of 20 some years yes. how many of you can hear what I'm saying in the Lord today Amen. he was a friend he was a confidant yes. Yes. he saw me move from immaturity to maturity in my apostolic mantle Amen. he supported me when others wouldn't endorse me And so, in the continuation, yes. see, God God knows how to keep the heavens open. Uh -huh. Come on. And if God had told the man of God there needs to be a place on the north side of Youngstown, mm -hmm. okay. guess what? There still needs to be a place on the north side of Youngstown. That's right. Oh, come on. See, vision doesn't leave just because a man or a woman of God left. Come Somebody on. help me in the Holy Amen. Spirit tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Vision endures because the word of the Lord. If it's a vision from the Lord, then man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And that is Rhema. Yes. That means I'm not just looking at Logos. I'm looking and I'm meditating. And I'm pulling out of the heart of God, out of heavenly places to establish in the earth. What God is saying for a time and a season and for a generation for our people. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes, yes. And so I heard the Lord say, rededicate, reconsecrate. Yes. See, all the items in the in the tabernacle were anointed. Yes. That's right. And so we're gonna we're gonna make a stamp, we're gonna make a seal, we're gonna make a stigmata, a mark in this place in the spirit today. Yes. And we're gonna rededicate it to the Lord. And I know 
So I just need, we would need one other individual that you would authorize. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're going to pray. We're going to pray like we ain't never prayed before. Come on. Come on, man of God. Get that oil. Slap that oil in that hand. And we're going to go through. We're going to just begin to anoint. While everybody else is praying, you say, man, I ain't never been to a meeting like this. That's all right. Because when it's all said and done and you feel the clearing. Guys, I'm going to tell you what right now. I can feel in the atmosphere what the city is projecting. I can feel in the atmosphere what witchcraft is projecting. Come on. Even though I can feel the presence of the Lord, I'm not satisfied because I can feel intermingling in the atmosphere. I can feel fear, yes. resistance, hesitancy, reluctancy. I can feel things in the atmosphere. And what we have to do is we have to set a place that as soon as people come in, I don't care if there's a an outbreak or pandemic, God has the ability to break out. God told me one time, he said, stop praying for a breakthrough, pray for a breakout. See, you pray a breakthrough for you. Yeah. But see, when you get a when you get God, who's the, the God of the breakthrough, yeah. the breaker anointing, the parade anointing, yeah. begins to manifest in a place. Yeah. And now the same way the king entered in, the people exit out. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So the breaker anointing isn't so you just get a breakthrough. It's so that you have an exit strategy and a plan. Yeah. And it's not just about you now. It's about everybody else that God wants to break out with you. Come on here. Come on, if it wasn't so in the upper room when they prayed for that period of time they were in the upper room, they didn't stay there when the glory and the fire and the might and the dominion of the kingdom began to manifest in the earth again. It literally says it drove them out into the street. Because how was it at nine in the morning after they had been praying that at nine o'clock in the morning people could hear them in their own tongue? That's right, that's right. That's right. It was just like it was at the temple when the fire fell at Solomon's dedication that the fire and the glory of God was so hot it drove them out. Oh, come on here. They couldn't stay in the temple. Yes. They had to get out of the temple. Yes. See, I'm not I'm not looking just for a breakthrough for you. Right, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm just radically different. <laughs> Amen. I'm looking for God to come that will cause people to mobilize again. Yes, yes. Break out. Yes, Come on, help me, Apostle. Come on, Come on, can you all stand if you're able to stand to your feet? I promise you, you're going to feel a shift. Yeah. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I bow my knee before you. Yeah. Lord, you allowed me to be here for a course of 10 plus years. And I labored with Apostle John Terry Allen. And Lord, you allowed now another firebrand to be in this place. Father, I pray that you would allow this place to be so consecrated, so sanctified, so permeated, God. That people, when they walk in, they're not waiting for the musicians. They're not waiting... Lord God, I pray the travail to return into this place, Lord God, like never before. I pray the times of lamentation and wailing, Lord God. You call us to celebration, but God, you call us to make a lamentation. Lord God, you call us to lay down, Lord God, our lives upon the altar. That we might prove what is the good, the acceptable, and perfect will of God. So, Father, tonight I bow my knees before the Lord of hosts. And I say to this ground to continue to be holy ground to be ground that has been sanctified and prepared as it's been dedicated in time past it's rededicated and dedicated again and that God during this time when fear is trying to come upon the planet when fear is trying to come upon every tongue tribe and nation we pray God that in this place that your glory Lord, we don't want just anointing. We don't want gifting. We don't want good preaching. Father, I pray now by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ for the return of your glory. Lord, that this place will be a place of manifested glory. That your Shekinah 
who be here. Come on, somebody. The bowls ain't full. Someone begin to allow. Right now, the rivers to begin to flow out of you. Make a loud cry. One of our prayers today are going to be for the people tomorrow. One of our cries today is going to be for the people. Why is it that God only really allowed leadership to be in this house tonight? Could it be that God has said, I need my leaders to get on the altar first? Stop telling the people to get on the altar. You get on the altar. You get on your face. You make out a cry. There he is. Resekere. Rondore de de basaka. Rendere de mozo corre Father, I pray every instrument in this place, Lord God, when the enemy has been trying to send defilement, witchcraft, and necromancy, you call me a tip of the spear. I am a battle axe. And I pray, Lord God, the warrior spirit to get upon your people. We will root up, pluck up, tear down, and destroy. We will make a place that's not intermingled, God. There will be no mixture in the name of Jesus, God. And that when the people come in, they will be convicted and they will testify and they will hear the prophetic word and they will say, truly the Lord is with you. Father, we pray your fire to begin to pour in. Begin to pour in your fire, Father. Lord God, I will not be satisfied until you come and consume this sacrifice. I will not be satisfied, Lord, until you pass through as my flames of fire. Pass through the sacrifice, Lord God. Your fire don't come, that means you haven't received the sacrifice. Father, I pray you over the microphones. I pray, Lord God, let they all be sanctified. I pray over every seat. I pray every wall become a firewall. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Forgive us that we haven't grown. When Jesus went to the tomb, he groaned once, he groaned twice, and then he made a prayer so that the people would know that the Father heard him. And then he spoke. Lazarus, come forth. We're trying to call people forward, and we haven't even grown. We haven't even travailed, and we're calling their name, and we ain't got no power to call them forth. He groaned in his spirit. Then he groaned again in his spirit. Get your travail back. Use this time while the school is closed and you're at home to travail. Produce for the kingdom. Produce out of your bowels and out of your spirit something that will be long lasting. I pray God, let a travail come over the Burnett family. Let a holy travail that they'll birth out a generation. That they'll call out a generation. Come forth. Fire. Fire. Let it burn in my brother like never before. You know, you know it ain't broke all the way through, and you can still feel it. There's resistance in the atmosphere. It's like a half delivery.
God, I pray like it was with Job, a firewall. When the people come in, Father, King Saul had a distressing evil spirit. Yes. And when worship went forth, that spirit had to leave him. Lord, a lot of people come into the house of the Lord, they feel a momentary freedom. Then they go back out and say, why am I tormented? I pray deliverance in this place. Father, as a matter of fact, I command deliverance in this place. In the name of Yeshua. I call for the return of the deliverance anointing. something that's going to empower you. Come on. I don't know what regions you all come from, but you all deal with different principalities and, and different religious spirits and demons. And you deal with different things. You got different generational things in your family. I pray right now by the blood of the Lamb. I pray supernatural grace to come upon you to deal with those things that have been trying to rise up in your bloodline, in your family, in the name of Jesus, in your, come against your ministry, in the name of Jesus, that's trying to rise up to come against the word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 